Sam. Good morning, how is everybody doing? Right now, I have my period, but obviously before that I was in my luteal phase. So I've been spending so much time watching back old content, specifically YouTube content, and feeling this deep, rooted embarrassment, and hyper self-consciousness. That idea of just like, of, of looking back at things or looking back at things you've made, and feeling so disconnected from it, I think it's very common, but also, has had me reflecting on this topic or idea just that I'm not the same person that I was even yesterday and within that framework thinking about all these new routines that that are part of my identity and how easy it is to just become interested in something and then kind of deep dive into it or just commit yourself to something and they can be small things like in my case I'm just thinking about things like reading or going to yoga consistently, which is something that even a couple years ago didn't really interest me. And I'm really into this idea of a new routine or just newer routines, I guess. I am someone, and I think everyone actually is this way, <clears throat> whether we like to admit it to ourselves or not, that really thrives in a ritual orientated lifestyle and it provides us with the kind of stability i think we need to at least for me get through you know everyday life stressors or big compounding stressors i think like ritualizing things like reading or i recently have been really into doing word searches just feels really nice also i feel the way that I document things is very different than how I used to. And that's also like a new routine in, in a way. I thought I'd also show you some things I got at the thrift store. You saw that I was there. Everything was 40% off. I only got two things. If you follow me on TikTok, you've already seen this. So I apologize if this is repetitive for you, but I got this long sleeve. It's like a poly knit. I do believe it's a tiny bit wool as well, but it's incredibly soft and Long sleeves just work really well in my wardrobe. I gravitate towards them. I think this will work really seamlessly with the rest of my clothing. I got this beautiful leather jacket. I was unsure at first because I didn't know how the tan would go with my skin tone. Sarah convinced me to get it. My, my best friend Sarah, not myself. Um, it's made in Canada, 100% leather. It's in really beautiful condition. And it has that kind of like 90s look or structure cut. The words are escaping me that I'm really drawn to. So I think it'll also work well into my wardrobe.
I'm packing for Edmonton. And I just did a partnership with them over on TikTok. But look how perfect all my Cadence capsules fit in the allowed liquid amount because I'm just doing a carry-on. This is cute. Good morning, y'all. I'm at the Royal Alberta Museum. I've lost my boyfriend somewhere, so I'm just sitting on this bench. Maybe I should go look for him, but I haven't been vlogging much. We've been here with family, so, or like my boyfriend's sister and her friends and stuff. I feel like an appropriate time to vlog, but I'm actually really liking it. I feel like Edmonton kind of has, gets kind of a bad rap. It has a charm. Something about it. I just can't put my finger on it. We went to the old Strathcorn of Farmer's Market yesterday, and that was cool. Walked along White Ave. Oh, there you are. Just saying that I last, yeah. Should we go in? Who's this little freak? Oh my god, look at all these brown stickers. <laughs> I think what I like about Edmonton is that even though I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, it's so. I feel like what people comment on is that it's so gray, especially in the winter. I kind of like how monochromatic it is. I don't know. It kind of feels like harsh, but in a comforting way. Don't know. Chillin'. Hi, are you good to be pet? Okay, I got three things while we were in Edmonton, all from secondhand stores. All the shops we went to were on White Ave. We weren't there for very long, so I didn't get to go to all of them. Two things from a place called The Flea. All of them were kind of upstairs on top of other shops and it was kind of hard to tell. They were like in unmarked doors and stuff. But I got this really oversized men's button down top. I was really into the yellow and the stripe and it looked really pretty with this necklace which I was wearing when we were there and I was trying it on. And then also from the flea, I found this in their $10 bin and it's just a 
royal blue crew neck sweater. I saved a picture of a girl with a blue crew neck and wearing a pair of jeans, like light wash jeans. Um, so I feel like I kind of manifested this one. And then lastly, I got this Stanfield that I'm wearing. I got this from a place called The Go Through and it was also $10. A lot of the places had like a $10 rack or like an under $20 rack, which was nice. I made homemade nom. So I wear homemade doll and we're gonna watch the brand. I washed my makeup brushes yesterday, which is something I do like once a week. And I gotta say, doing my makeup with a clean makeup brush is one of my favorite things about being a human as of late. Just the little things, right? Today's kind of a boring work day. I'm just editing this. Went to yoga this morning. After work, we're going to this outdoor cold plunge and sauna that I've seen a bunch of people do. I placed an order on Sephora on the 5th, like when the sale first started. I had no idea it was a VIB rouge now. Just kind of sickening to think about, but I placed an order and for some reason they thought it was fraudulent, so they canceled it. I didn't realize that they had canceled it until, I don't know, a couple days ago. So my order, oh, who's this? Oh, fuck. So I just placed another duplicate order that actually went through. It won't come in time for me to share my treasures with you before the sale ends. Honestly, I don't know. If you don't need anything, don't get anything from the sale. I've been trying out of all my faves, so it was most opportunistic for me to participate in the sale. I started a new book on the plane ride to Edmonton. It's called Lost on Me by Veronica Ramo, I believe. And I'm not even really too sure how he stumbled upon it. I think it may have been like a staff pick at a local bookshop or something. And so far I'm enjoying it. It's the first book I've ever read that's been translated from another language. It was originally written in Italian. Uh, before that I had finished Sula, which was my pick for book club this month that I'm in with my friends. I really enjoyed it. I'm not sure how everyone else is going to feel about it. Because I picked the book, I'm the host for Sunday Book Club. So we'll see what everyone else thought about the book. Definitely would love to hear about what y'all are reading. This is something I got in the Sephora sale. The Ilia in Frame Brow Gel, my favorite brow gel that's almost empty. Okay, I think I'm gonna make some lunch now. It's a wee bit chilly. Can you snuggle that up? Oh, my toes are frozen. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the feet. That's Whoa. what really sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets so steamy right away. Feet in your hand. Oh. You can just... Uh, Oh my god. Okay, okay. You just like to for people that want to use it, right? That was it. 